So recently, while looking through some Operation Granby Gulf War footage, I came across a really interesting video featuring the Staffordshire Regiment, and as I was watching, I spotted something pretty interesting. One of the guys has a foregrip attached to his SA-80, which at the time was definitely not something that was issued as standard. I did some more digging and managed to find more photos and videos of this foregrip. There's a surprisingly rich history of attaching homemade ad hoc forward grips to weapons within the British military. In the 1940s, troops fashioned homemade forward grips for stem machine carbines, while in the 1960s, at least one member of the SAS operating in Borneo during the Indonesian confrontation attached a carved wooden foregrip to his M16. In the 80s, the operators with the SAS's counterterrorism teams attached foregrips to their MP5s. The intermittent tradition appears to have continued into the early 90s, with one member of the Staffordshire Regiment seen to have mounted a pistol grip to the forend of his L85A1. The soldier and his adapted rifle appear in a number of photographs and some footage taken during field exercises in Saudi Arabia. The battalion deployed to Saudi Arabia as part of 7th Armoured Brigade in October 1990, as part of Operation Granby. During the phase of operations in the Gulf, which the US designated Operation Desert Shield, Allied forces prepared to liberate Kuwait, and took part in a large number of field exercises. On the 10th of November 1990, Sergeant Dave Mills, a British Army photographer, filmed some close-up footage of C Company 1st Battalion, the Staffordshire Regiment, during a live-fire exercise. During one brief section of the footage, the L85A1 with the foregrip can be seen firing. On the 6th of January 1991, C Company took part in another live fire exercise, which again saw them filmed, and the same rifle features in several brief sections. It also appears in photographs taken by AP photographers Patrick Baz and Sadayuki Mikami, an unnamed British Army photographer, and a US Army photographer. Unlike some earlier examples of wooden ad hoc foregrips, this one appears to be fashioned from a spare SA-80 pistol grip attached to the rifle's plastic foreend by a bolt. While mods like this one weren't that uncommon, they are rarely so well documented in photographs and videos as this particular one. Similar modifications were made using the rear grip from the L86A1 light support weapon. These were again bolted through the vents in the underside of the rifle's plastic handguard. One of these modifications was seen a number of times in the hands of a member of the Royal Marines Commandos during the 2007 documentary Commando on the Front Line. Generally, the addition of foregrips make for handier, more pointable weapons. Arguably, the soldier from C Company was ahead of his time as later, following the L85A2 refits and the Afghanistan urgent operational requirements, grip pod vertical front grips were paired with the rifles. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. I know this is a bit of an esoteric subject, but it's one that really caught my interest. Also, hope you enjoyed the fun little edit at the beginning of the video, which was inspired by my friend Robbie over at RA Military History, who does loads of those kind of edits. Go check his channel out. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Feel free to share the video with friends. And if you'd like to, you can support us over on Patreon, where we have a whole range of perks available to say thank you for your support including early access to all of our videos. So thanks again, catch you next time.